Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I just finished an edit on uh, video we shot yesterday. We went out and did a music day, a remote, and we filmed ourselves performing the guitar instrumental set. So these are famous chart topping hits from 1948 to 1974 that my wife and I have been playing for the last year. The set was designed to be performed for people because, see, it's complicated for us as people who enjoy playing guitars. That's my wife and I. We're not great, talented musicians or guitar players. That's not us. We're, we have the guys playing at the open mics in the bars. We're not even at that level. We're down somewhere around with the, the six-year-old kid who just got a guitar for his birthday. That's about the talent level where we're at. And our growth cannot be charted. It is so slow and so minute. Any, you know, 35 years later, I'm learning stuff that you, a normal talented musician would learn in the first day. So uh, typically I write these basic songs that are really simple and we're playing I'm writing that stuff and we're playing this within our level of being able to function, which is low, okay? So for us, playing that stuff uh, in front of other people is painful. People do not like to hear music they've never heard before. They only like to hear songs that they're familiar with. And because of my physical handicap, because I had an accident, I'm missing two finger tops on my fret hand, I'm just unable to do what most guitar players do, which is play covers. So I have to come up with my own stuff and that it's not really feasible to expect other people to want to sit through that, especially considering the skill level that I'm at. You know what I mean? So this guitar instrumental set, it's famous guitar instrument music, people know. We played it last year for my mother-in-law and we've recently played it for, for some other friends and family and everyone has, uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. And I gotta temper that saying compared to previous examples of playing our original music, which is challenging. It's, people always dig it. They're not like, oh, that was, but, but playing these covers, it's, it's just easier and, and we get a better response. So that's what I'm bringing to the YouTube channel. I'm going to be editing these performances. There's 10 of them. There's 10 famous guitar instrumentals. Um, I found this online service and it was like, you can upload a song. And then you can, it'll, it's AI and it'll extract whatever you want, basically. Like um, in my case, I would want to have it remove the guitar and remove the bass guitar. Like just give me back the drums. And then I play guitar, my wife plays bass. We can play our own instruments over it. So that's what this thing does. It didn't work for all of the recordings because some of these songs are so old um, and the recordings were not really professionally done. The computer couldn't figure it out, but we are playing to the original tracks on some of these. So it sounds like, oh, is that the Henry Mancini Orchestra? Why, yes, it is the Henry Mancini Orchestra. So, uh, keep your ears posted for that. You should know this stuff um, and you should enjoy it. I'm super excited. This has been a lot of fun for us playing this stuff because we don't normally play covers. So this is something we have now in our, uh, in our ammo pouch that if we find ourselves, we're going to perform or if we want to perform for some people, we've got a set of music that is not Petey's weird instrumental stuff that all sounds the same. So I'm going to be working on editing all this stuff. And when I finish, I'm going to do another video 
where I talk about uh, fun facts and interesting connections between the artists and the music. Because af as we went along doing this, I read and I learned more about the artists and the pieces of music and how they were, how they came to be, how they were recorded, all that fun stuff. And I saw these different connections. Some like really, that's something worth talking about, connections. So I made some notes. I've got a couple of pages of interesting and fun facts, which I'm going to, when I upload the final piece of music, which is the 1974 one, um, I'm going to do another video where I read all that for you guys for a story time. So if you're a fan of this channel or you like music, especially if you like guitar music, I twist your arm to uh, give the guitar instrumental set a shot. I can guarantee there's guitar in there. <laughs> now, yesterday, I know I edited the first song today and I was like, man... I can play this a lot better than the version we captured. You know, there's some, some, there's some slop in there. There's some almost clunkers, almost a clam. There's, it is what it is. And for me, it's always more exciting when I see the, the spills and the chills and the wipeouts than the perfect performance. Because I'm not Richie Blackmore. I'm I'm not Jimmy Page. <laughs> I'm not Ingve Malmsteen. I'm not Adrian Ballou. Although I wish I was. So definitely uh, check this stuff out. I'm going to be uploading the first song is Ghost Riders in the Sky. I'm going to be putting that up tonight after I upload this video. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. So uh, leave your comments, make sure they're positive. I delete negative, nasty, mean-spirited comments. I, it's not tolerated on this channel. Other than that, I should be uploading one of these a day for the next uh, 10 or 11 days. Probably it's going to be about the speed of it. So... Check it out. Make sure that you hug your pet. If you have a, a dog or a cat, give it a treat, give it a hug, show it some extra attention and some love. We were out all day, boy. When we came back, I could tell Keto, Keto was, uh, we have a little black cat, and, and he needed a little extra special attention. So, and I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be brushing him out tonight. It's probably more fun for me than it is for him, but once he gets settled in, he enjoys it. You guys take care of yourself. Hug your pets and peace.